We've been holding out hope for Garrett Bradbury, the number 18 overall pick in the 2019 NFL Draft, even though hey, you don't draft a center that high. Uh, the pride of NC State, the grim reacher. He was an undersized uh, but mobile, agile, hostile center prospect that the Vikings could set and forget, be the next John Sullivan, be the next Matt Burke, be the next Matt, uh, Jeff Christie, be the next Mick Tinglehoff, and just be that dude for the, the next decade plus for the Vikings. But... Through three years, it hasn't really panned out. The Vikings declined to pick up his fifth-year option as Bradbury had been the worst PFF graded, the worst uh, PFF pass blocking graded center over the last three years, which is kind of hard to do. Uh, that's a trifecta that no one wants. But uh, when Quasey and Kevin O'Connell came in, it was the ultimate mama, I can change him moment. Like, we can get him on F, We can have him pan on the potential that made him a first-round pick in the first place. It was coaching. It was scheme. It was this and it was that. And we could do it. And they hitched wa- their wagons to him because they could have brought in a center in free agency. They could have drafted Tyler Linderbaum. Uh, they could have drafted Cam Jurgens. They could have drafted Luke Fortner. But they didn't. They didn't do that. So they rolled a Bradbury, and through one day, one day of padded practices, it's over. It's over, man. It's over. So Will Raggetts, uh, Garrett Bradbury got run over by Harrison Phillips uh, a couple times in one-on-one drills today. Phillips is really strong and powerful, but it's concerning that Bradbury's number one issue doesn't seem to have gone away. And he was a... he was a liability to a degree in 11 on 11s as well. Uh, so the the one thing, the the one thing that Bradbury had to work on this offseason was adding a mass to that ass, was adding that anchor, and it didn't work out. Don't worry. Like, the, the entire story about Bradbury, every single offseason, like, hey, he added good weight. He added muscle. He's going to be better in one-on-one spots, but it hasn't panned out. Which is unfortunate because I think Bradbury is a good leader. I think that he's good at calling protections. I think that he's good uh, in the run blocking game, especially when he gets out on the perimeter. But the, his one issue was just holding up in one on one spots. And defensive coordinators know that, and they've been targeting him. They've been isolating him uh, against nose tackles, zero and one tax, and it's just it's time. It's already time to move on. And, and yeah, you could talk about hey. J.C. Treader time. Now it is time. The Vikings have the cap space. They have the motivation. Uh, Quasi knows J.C. Treader from his days with the Browns. They were just waiting for this moment. They had to see it with their own eyes. Because if, if you think about it, after Quasi and Kevin O'Connell came in this offseason, there have been no padded practices. There have been no live reps. So this was today or Monday. Nailed it. Uh, was the first time that they were able to see Bradbury up close and personal in a game situation. Yes, you can watch the tape, watch the tape, watch the tape, but it's different when you can see it with your own two eyes. And the results can't be good. It can't be good. And they need to pull the plug now because I don't see it getting precipitously better. I, I see it degrading. I see it uh, being is it is what it is. Uh, so the Vikings want to change horses right now in terms of the center position. They got to do it now because they need to get that guy up to speed. They have to get him acclimated. They have to get him uh, used to the chemistry between uh, Ezra Cleveland and probably Jesse Davis, a right guard. So whether it's J.C. Treader, whether it's Chris Reed, I don't care. I, I do not care. Options for center at this point. Uh, Chris Reed has been uh, taking some backup center snaps during OTAs, but now the second team center has been Austin Schlotman since Chris Reed has been bouncing around first team right guard when Davis was out on Friday, uh, as well as second team left guard. So, I mean, Chris Reed could be that option. If you're looking to get your best five out there, maybe it's him. Austin Schlotman coming over from the Broncos. A lot of familiarity with Modkins, uh, Riscotti, and Chris Cooper. Wyatt Davis took some center uh, snaps uh, two years ago. Well, last year, but different regime, different time. Maybe that's not even on the table. It does seem like they're sort of over Wyatt Davis. Kyle Big Hinton Hinton has taken the center snaps uh, at OTAs uh, this year. Uh, Josh Sokol. Don't even have him listed. The UDFA uh, from Sacred Hat. Tyree Stevenson. Yes, I listed the UDFA nose tackle out of Tulsa, mainly because he's 370 pounds. He will not be pushed a round. I don't care that he's changing positions. Flip the script. And then, of course, you got J.C. Treader in free agency. You also got guys like Matt Paradise in free agency, uh, former Broncos center who was fantastic as well as he spent a couple of years with the Panthers. Last year, not so good. What can you do? Or, hell, just take the field of 10, man. Free space like in bingo. Just like, hey, best of luck. Our center is uh, Ezra is just going to reach over and just like, yeah, hey, hike the ball. Go with that, man. But what are you going to do? What are you going to do with Bradbury? So uh, he has a $2.25 million base salary, all of it fully guaranteed. So the Vikings have to carry his $4 million cap it, whether he's on the team or not. But, well, if they cut him or not. But if they trade him, aha, if they're able to clear uh, clear off some of that uh, money from their books, they can actually save a little sum and sum. And so looking at some trade options as we zoom in and enhance, nailed it. Uh, so the Bucks would be the obvious choice. Uh, with Ryan Jensen going out, injury. Now, all these teams also could just add J.C. Treader. 
<laughs> or Matt Paradise or whatever. But uh, the Bucks, they feel like they're close. Maybe they see Bradbury's like, hey, mama, I can change him. Uh, hey, we can work it out with... Uh, with our fantastic guard check, Mason and uh, uh, and Cap and whatnot, uh, and we can do this. Like, like we can do the damn thing with Bradbury at center, maybe. Or the Dolphins. The Dolphins have been in the race for J.C. Treader this entire offseason with the Vikings as well. Maybe they feel like they're just one piece away on the, along that offensive line. Maybe the Raiders uh, would see uh, Bradbury as an upgrade over Andre James, the guy who took over for Rodney Hudson last year, potentially. The Browns, the friggin' Cleveland Browns. The fancy, of course, uh, knows Bradbury. They go way back like chiropract. Uh, Quasey could get some business going uh, with his uh, former mentor, uh, Andrew Barry, and it's like, hey, the Browns, you, you're going from J.C. Treader. You're handing over the reins to uh, 2025th round pick Nick Harris, who is a guy I like a lot coming out of Washington, by the way. But why not give them the flexibility of a, vet, a veteran fallback just in case Harris falters? Eh, go ahead. Uh, of course, you got uh, the crooked Chicago Bears. Even though they have Lucas Patrick coming over from the Greasy Grime and Green Bay Packers, it just seems like they're interested. Like, hey, why are you so obsessed with us? I mean, you, you signed Dakota Dozier. You signed Riley Reef. Why not trade for Gary Bradbury? I get Yankee Swap. Yankee swap our trash for your trash. Bradbury for Tevin Jenkins. Who says no? Let's do. Let's do it. Trade for Tevin Jenkins. Start Chris Reed at center, and then let uh, Jenkins compete at one of the guard spots. Because I don't think he's a tackle. But either way, uh, is this overreacting? Possibly. But it, 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 it's the one thing. The un. Thingo uh, that Bradbury had to work on this offseason, and he's already getting worked. And yeah, Harrison Phillips ain't no slouch, but guess what? There ain't no slouch nose tackles around this league either. Every single week uh, along the defensive interior, there's some bad dudes. There's some bad dudes. And I do not want this offense derailed by a problem that you knew was going to be a problem and continues to be a problem. Don't let it be a problem. Fix it. Or at least do something. Try to rectify the, the problem. Uh, uh, what, what's the definition of insanity? Ow, 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 ow. When's it going to be my turn? It's time to move on. That's it. Uh, but your thoughts on our thoughts. Time to move on for Garrett Bradbury. After one pad of practice. Yeah, I said it. Uh, let's, let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for Daily Vikings Takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.